Okay, I'm going to show you how to solve problem 4-1 out of your homework. I'm going to show you several different methods, so hopefully you bear with me. It's actually useful to know all four different methods. So anyway, let's go ahead and read the problem. By the way, this is going to be uh, solving the future value of a lump sum. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to set this up on Excel. And uh, when you're doing the homework, I want you to go ahead and have all the different problems on different separate tabs. So I'm going to go to sheet one. I'm going to call this 4-1, okay, because that's this problem. And if you do another problem after this, you click on here and double click and you say 4-2. Okay, the next problem you double click 4-3 and so on, okay. So you have your different problems and uh, they'd be labeled down here on separate tabs and of course you'd want to solve, save it so then you would, you would just go ahead and uh, submit this as your homework you go file save as um, you put, put uh, chapter 4 homework something like that and then maybe uh, put your name afterwards you don't necessarily have to put your name because when you submit it through through uh, angel and I, I know who submitted what okay so I'm just going to go uh, save because I know my own name. Okay. Now, so let's go ahead and after this end, I'm going to say given. So I like the problems to be separated into a given. So what are you given in the problem? And then find, what do you want to find? And finally, the solution below that. Normally, so what are we given? Well, we're given $700 today. So $700 today. If we look at the cash flow diagram, $700 $700 today would be right now at time zero. We're given we're gonna actually we're gonna invest $700, right? So it'd be it would actually be a negative $700, right? Because it's coming out of our pocket. So it's a down, you know, you invest $700, it's a it's money out of your pocket, so it's a down arrow on the cash flow diagram. And then at the end of period one, we're gonna have an amount, and in the period two, we're gonna have an amount, and in the period three. And finally, at the end of period four, we want to know how much she has four years from today. Because it says here, if Samantha, Samantha invests $700 today in an account that pays 4% interest compounded annually, how much will she have in her account four years from today? So that's a future value. That's what you want to know. So let's go ahead and put what we're given, the present value. And since it's coming out of my pocket, I'm going to go ahead and put a negative uh, and then a dollar sign and 700. So we know that it's coming out of my pocket, so it's red. And then uh, it pays 4% interest. So I'm going to call that R. I think that's what the book normally calls it, is R. Your calculator that I'm going to show you in a minute calls it I. So I'm going to put 4%. Now it's very important to put percent because Excel knows that, that uh, it's 0 0.04 when it puts it into a calculation because percent, remember you divide it by 100, remember from your math classes. So this is the present value. I'm gonna, you don't have to put this in when you do your homework. I'm just putting this in here. And this is compounded. How often does it say in the problem? Annually. Okay. And then what else are we given? We're given 704%. Are there any other numbers that we're given here? Well, they want to know it's four years from today. So I'm going to say and. That's a... So we're abbreviating. PV is present value. R is, an, is uh, the interest rate. N is the number of periods. And we know that's four. And I'm going to put the how many for what? You know, years. Okay. All right. So you're already learning the language of the discipline. PV is the present value. How much right now? R is the interest rate. Okay. And N is the number of years. The number of periods. Okay. So now let's go ahead. We want to know what we want to find. Well, what do you want to find here? How much you will have in our account here at four years or day? And what does FV stand for? FV stands for future value. Okay, so how much is you going to have in the future? So this is the magic of interest, right? We're, we're, we're going to start out with $700 and our money is going to grow. But what's it going to grow to? Did anybody guess? 4%. How much is it going to grow over four years? Okay, four percent is not very much. Well, let's find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a solution. And uh, I'm going to do several solutions. 
And I guess the first one we'll do is we'll use this formula right here. 4, 1 in your book, formula 4, 1. If you're going to memorize a formula, this is a good one to memorize. So it's probably the biggest, the most common time value of money formula. Remember chapter 4 is time value of money. It says the future value after n periods is equal to the present value of 1 plus interest rate. This interest rate, remember, has to be in percent to the n power. Okay? So let's go ahead and put it in here. So I'm going to go future value. And now if I'm going to put a formula, I have to do equals. So I'm going to go equals. And then the present value, well, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to click on here. Okay? And then there's no multiplication symbol in here. But remember, if the two, two things, if it, it's, just, it's inferred that there's a multiplication symbol in there. If it's just side, side by side like that. So I'm going to go times. You have to go times. And in Excel, the times is not the X. It's the asterisk. Okay, that's over on your number key pad, or else it's above the number eight. You have to go shift and eight, and then one plus. No, no, I already put four percent here, right? So I'm just going to click on here. Remember, you don't want to type it if you already have it up here and given. You want to click on it. I clicked on the seven hundred, and the seven, what what is it sitting here? It says B five. Well, what's in the cell B five? Seven hundred. That's our present value. And one plus, well, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to click here on cell B6. And what's in B6? 4%. And then this is an exponent, right? And the N is up above. So in Excel, it's, it's the number above the 6. It's a carrot. And I want to take it to the fourth power. Okay? And then my future value is it. Now what I want to do here, since I used a formula, it doesn't know that this is the, the signs are flipped, so I'm going to put a negative sign in the front. Okay, so and also I'm going to copy this format. So I'm going to go home, I'm going to go format painter and click here and take it out a couple places. All right, so that's my first answer. All right, so let me show you the formula. Now, you don't, you guys don't have this one in here, but I'm, I'm using it to show the formula, so don't look for it. You don't have a get formula. So that's how you define it. So it'd be a negative B5 and then times 1 plus B6 to the to the to the B7, which is so it'd be a negative this, because I want to make that positive, and then times 1 plus this 4 percent to the okay, so let me show you an alternate solution. Um, you might want to use your calculator. Okay. So the calculator. Uh, the calculator, uh, those of you that don't are taking my class, you could search for HP 12C online emulator. But if you're taking my class, you can just go to our class, go to the course home, and then click on the syllabus. If you scroll down and just hit this calculator here, it'll bring up the emulator. Alternately, you can download an HP 12C emulator for your smartphone. There's HP 12C emulators for both the iPhone and the Android. So anyway, the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to uh, I want to let's go back here instead of seeing alternated solution I'll say uh, HP 12C solution. Okay. So HP 12C there's there's several keys across the top that you're going to use and I present value and whoops, Sorry, present value, payment, PMT stands for payment, and future value. Those are going to be the main five keys that you use. Um, so the number of periods, I'm going to say it equals this four. The interest rate is the same thing as R, so I'm going to say equals 4%. The present value, I'm going to say equals this. The payment is zero. If you look over here, are you making any payments on period one, two? No, there's nothing there, so let's say zero. And the future value, is what we want to solve for. Okay, so let's go back to the calculator. So we're going to address each one of these keys: and I, P, V, payment, and future value. Okay, in that order. I always start from left to right to make sure I don't make a mistake. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to clear what's in there from before. So I'm going to hit the yellow key, and this little F comes up. And now we're going to anything in yellow is what we're going to do. And so it says clear finance. That's what we want to do. We want to clear everything from finance. 
And also I hit this clear X to get rid of everything. So the first thing it says N is 4. So I'm going to go 4 and N. Okay. I is 4%. So now, now the calculator assumes that it's percent already. So I'm just going to go 4 I. Okay. The present value is 700. So I'm going to go 700. Change sign to make it negative. Right. And then I'm going to go present value. Click the PV key. The payment is zero, so I'm going to go zero. Payment. So now I have these four in, so Excel's, so the calculator knows if I hit future value without entering anything, that's what I'm going to solve. So I click here. It gives me the answer, and the answer is 818 point. Oh, it's uh, 818.90, which is exactly what we had here, right? Let me form, copy that format down and make that yellow. So that's the calculator solution. Um, we could also use Excel formulas. So I'll say Excel form formula solution. Okay, so the Excel formula solution is actually the way I normally would solve a problem. And probably in business, you're probably not, you might not have your, well, if you, if you install that HP 12C, uh, emulator on your on your smartphone you could probably use that but you also can use Excel so in business you like to document what you do also so normally I would use this way so future value it's also probably the quickest way to do it and I'm going to use what's called an Excel formula so I'm going to go equals FB and it brings up the Excel formula right and I'm going to double click on that and it's height and it puts in bold what it wants first so it wants the rate so I'm going to click on the rate up here, R, and then, and then I'm going to hit the comma to go to the next one. Once well, the number of periods, the number of periods is right here. I'll click the comma. It wants the payment. Okay, so the payment is going to be zero. So if you're going to do zero, uh, you can either type zero, or what I do is if it's zero, you can just hit the comma just to skip it. The next thing is bold down here is present value. Well, present value is right here. Type, don't worry about right now because we're going to cover that later. And then we can close the parentheses. And that's $818.90. Okay? That's another way you could do it. Now, we could also do it just using the brute force method. We could use uh, Excel. I call, I'll call it the brute force method. Okay? And the brute force method, what we would do is we could... Uh, just say okay, uh, period ending, and we'll say balance. Okay, and this is not highlighted yellow. Okay, and the period ending will go zero, one, two, three, four, and the balance will at the end at period zero is equal to the seven hundred dollars, right? And I'm going to go ahead and make that positive, so I'm going to put a negative in front of it. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to highlight this to make it look nice. I'm going to go center. Okay, if I want to make this look nice, I can highlight this and put a color over it if I want. Maybe make it blue. Okay. All right, so, uh, so what do we have in the next period? Well, it's going to be equal to this $700 times my interest rate. That's how much interest I'm going to earn. Now the problem is, I, when I copy this formula down, I want this to always stick here. I want it to be absolute. So I'm going to hit. I'm going to go. I'm going to go where. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go where the B6 is. I'm going to hit F4. Okay. And and then I'm going to go to the end of the formula by hitting the right arrow. I'm going to go plus. And then basically we have our initial balance too. So this is the interest we earn plus the initial balance. And that's 728. And if I drag that down all the way, and I'm going to take this out a couple places on all these. Okay, so the answer is right here. All right, and I'll make that yellow. All right, let's put in some of these other formulas. Copy. Paste. Okay, so that's. Oops. That didn't work right. Let 
Remember, you guys don't have this gift for me. I'm just putting this here so you can see. Okay, so those are, those are, those are the answers. Okay, um, those are the ways to do it. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to hold down control. Highlight, not find, and solution, and this, and this, and this. So I've highlighted, you, know, you, can, you can highlight different things by holding down control. I'm going to make these bold and underline. So I know these are going to be different. So I have what I'm given, what I'm going to find, and I showed you a bunch of different solutions. Now, like I said, normally in class, I'm probably going to, or normally this is what I would like you to do is use the Excel formula solution. These other, and also I'd like you to try the calculator for some of these. These two are just different ways to do it. But the solution, the, the HP12C and Excel formula solution, that's the way I would like you to do it. If you're, and really I only require you to do one. So either do this one or this one. And for a test, you can probably decide which one you think is faster for you. For a test, you may want to know how to do them both so you can double check yourself. Okay. Um, anyway, I would like you to, this is the way I'd like you to hand it in with at least one of these solutions on there. Um, and uh, you don't have to do this type of stuff. But I at least want you to type it this way and have it on separate tabs. Okay, so that's it for that. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.